Listen to what I tell you. We will visit the city of Worlds tonight. But first, you have to get ready. I want you to go take a bath. Scrub yourself good. Put on your best clothes and go into your room and pray. Even if you do not know how to pray, try. Like Mary. Boil some water and get it all ready. I am going to go into my room and get ready. Do not disturb me. They told me my history, history began in slavery, and I know that's not true. But I can read, I picked up some books, and I found proof. And what I discovered was more magical than poof. It amazed me, and I'm sure it would do the same thing for you. First, I read about Mali and his king, Nancy Musa, and how he was the world's most wealthiest ruler. Then I picked up another book about leader Shaka Zulu. Whose story needs to be told on Netflix and Hulu? Next, I want to find out the history of a person who looked like me. Then I discover our ships a woman who was king. She ruled in one of the greatest dynasties that the world has ever seen. And for that, she'll be forever special to me. Then my daddy's name is first like Imhotep. I asked him once and I said, who in the world is that? He said Imhotep was the world's best monkey genius. He's responsible for the stop pyramid that's still set in Egypt. This is not the not the contributions of my people and their bravery, but we got to stop telling the lie that my history began in slavery, and we were forced to work long days and nights, but changing shack and slave for the master. But for thousands of years, my people ruled in amazing castles, well before me and you. So when they said my history began in slavery, and I know that's not true, but I can read, I picked up some books, and I found proof. And what I discovered was more magical than poop because we have royalty in our bloodline because we have royal roots.
what's gone. Sometimes I feel like I'm almost gone. A long ways from home. from home. Panting and running for dear life, she flew down the street to cling to her babies. Seven and three, ripe for the slave auctions picking she could tell. By the stench of white flesh and alcohol, at the red lit people had come to town, Pushing for African bodies, day turned to night. Someone etched the word run in the earth, and before she had a chance to respond, a cold black barrel struck her head while pale hands unclothed her and, dragging her by her locks, threw her on the back of a horse who galloped toward a ship full of bodies and chains. A soft, crushing song of sorrow enveloped her womb, crying out for freedom, yearning for the chance to hug her family one more time. Do you remember the time when over 30 million Africans were stolen, beaten, and kidnapped from their home? Told to disown their native culture, language, and religion, to bear the master's whip, birth his children, and build his empire? Dripping a fountain of blood and bone on tired attire, breaking tools to postpone the days toiling, singing and dancing and praying, to prevent their anger from boiling over into mass murder and savagery, despite the incessant battering and sexual abuse of girls and boys, innocent stolen and treated as toys to entertain the mistress and her children. If you listen carefully, you can still hear the screams of southern trees who witness the blood fall, wash oil plantations, during lynchings of black people who grew tired of being tired and sought to undo the wire of subservience in their soul once artisans, merchants, priests, and scribes now filled hands living off a male plan of white supremacy and exploitation. Generations of Africans forbidden from education still had the revelation that a just and righteous God would never enslave her sons and daughters, never leave them wading in the water, waiting for a savior that failed to see their pain. Thankfully, no amount of lashes could beat out the warrior African spirit in their veins as they turned the tables and fought back. Plotted by Gabriel Prosser to attack the oppressors and hurriedly Harriet Tubman through constellations that carried them out to freedom. No tall tale. I seek to burn the veil of ignorance of my ancestors' arrival to Babylon and miraculous survival. For 400 years, how does a people taught to hate themselves? rise above the ashes of trauma, breaking the cycle of light versus dark young versus old and black men versus black women, perpetually penetrating the consciousness of black babies with poisonous lies like black inferiority, never mind a silent majority of black women who stole from the master's house to feed their children, crafting herbal remedies to remedy illness. This spiritual strength alone reveals Another song of Solomon shedding light on the truth that our ancestors were victorious. Please remember your victory. Free bird leaves on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wings in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky but a bird that stalks down its narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage his wings are clipped and his feet are tied so he opens his throat to see a cage bird sings with a fearful trill things unknown belongs for still and his tune is heard on a distant hill for a cage bird sings of freedom oh freedom oh freedom 
Kaku Kaku Free bird dreams of another breeze and the trade went soft through the sighing trees when the fat worms wasting on a dawn bright lawn and he names the sky his own but a cage which stands on a grave of dreams and his shadow shouts on a nightmare screams his wings are clipped and his feet are tied so he opens his throat to see to be levy and he don't need nobody messing with him about the white man because you don't know nothing about me you don't know what kind of blood i got what kind of heart i got beating here i was eight years old when a gang of white men come into my daddy's house and have to do with my mama any way they want it Coming up on planting time, my dad went to Natchez to get him some seed fertilizer. Called me, say, Levy, you the man of the house now. You look after your mama, take care of your mama while I'm gone. I wasn't but a little boy. Eight years old. My mama. My mama in there frying up some chicken when the man's coming to that house. Must have been eight or nine of them. She's standing there frying that chicken and they came and 
to call her. It came to take hold of her, just like you come and take hold of a mule and you make them do what you want. I didn't know what they was doing to her. But I figured, whatever it was, they may as well do it to me too. My dad had a knife that he kept there for hunting and whatnot. I knew where it was and I went and I got it. Now, I'm gonna show you how spooked up I was by the white man. Man, I tried my damnest to cut one of them throats. I hit him in the shoulder with it. And he reached back and he grabbed that knife and whacked me across my chest with it. That's what made him stop. They were scared I was going to bleed to death. My daddy wasn't spooked up by the white man. No, sir. That taught me something. I seen my daddy go up in this cracker's face, smile in his face, and sold him his land. <laughs> All the while planning what he was going to do to him and now he was going to get him. <laughs> that taught me something. So y'all could just back up and, and, and leave Larry alone about the white man because I can smile and say yes sir to whoever I damn well please. So y'all just, I'll just leave Levy alone about the white man. Little ghetto boy, playing in the ghetto street. What you gonna do when you grow up and have to face responsibility? Will you spend your days and nights in the pool room? Will you sell caps of madness to the neighborhood, little ghetto boy? You already know how rough life can be. You've seen so much pain and misery. Uh. Little ghetto boy, your daddy was blown away. He robbed that grocery store, but don't you know that was a sad, sad old day? Yeah. All of your young life, you've seen such misery and pain. Mm, yeah, the world is a cruel place to live, and it ain't gonna change. You're so young, you've got so far to go. But I don't think you'll reach your goal, young man, hanging by the pool room door. Look out, y'all! Uh. Little 
get a boy when 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 you become a man you can make things change yeah 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 if you just take a stand you got to believe in yourself and all you do yeah you got to fight to make it better then you'll see how others will start believing too then my son things will start to get better come on hey everything has got to get better yeah everything oh well boy everything has got to get better ha <laughs> to get better oh everything has got to get better <laughs> everything has got to get better and i said everything uh, everything say everything oh uh, everything i said everything <laughs> say everything say I said everything was fully good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come on, say everything has got to get better. Yeah, everything has got to get better. Say everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Southern trees bear strange fruit, blood at the leaves. Blood at the root, black bodies swinging in the southern breeze, strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. Pastoral scenes of the gallant south, the bulging eyes and twisted mouth, scent of magnolias, sweet and fresh, then the sudden smell. Of burning flesh, here is the fruit for the crows to pluck, for the rains to gather, for the winds to suck, for the sun to. For the trees to draw. Here is a strange and bitter, bitter cry. Give us what we need. Hey, I 
grins and lies. It hides our cheeks and shades our eyes. This debt we pay to human guile would turn and bleeding hearts we smile and mouth with marriage subtleties. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? Nay, let them only see us while we wear the masks. We smile but oh great Christ our cry. To thee from tortured souls arise. We sing, but oh, the clay is by beneath our feet and long the mile. But let the world dream otherwise. We wear the mask. One day, when the glory comes, it will be ours. It will be ours. So When the war is won, we will be sure, we will be here sure, oh Lord. Oh. Now the war is not over, victory is in the one, and we'll fight on to the finish. That's when it's all done, we'll cry glory, oh glory, oh, we'll cry glory, oh glory, Somebody, anybody, sing a black girl's song. Bring her out to know herself, to know you, but sing her song, her rhythms, caring, struggles, hard times. Sing her song of life. She's been dead so long, closed in silence for so long. She doesn't know the sound of her own voice, her infinite beauty. 
She's half notes scattered without rhythm, no tune. Sing her sighs. Sing the song of her possibilities. Sing a righteous gospel. Let her be born. Let her be born and handled warmly. Bria Joelle Kelly. My name, my right, me. Given to me by my God and my parents. Hmm. So now what? How do I take this name pass down to me and, and make it mean something worthwhile? How do I take a five letter first name and make those who came before me proud? Can I even do it? Can I look back at my family that came before me and, and prove to them that what they passed down is not in vain? Can I? Will I? I must. There is no other option. The roads and, and hills and valleys that my ancestors had to go through do nothing but inspire me. Inspire me to, to lead, inspire me to grow, inspire me to use that name and do what I need to do. My name. To do what they didn't have the opportunity to do yet. I am more than just those five letters of my first name, but that name signifies every mountain that my great, great, great grandmother and my great, great, great grandfather had to climb. I don't take it lightly. I stand boldly with my name. I stand on the ground of my ancestors proudly. We shall stand together. We shall stand together. We shall stand together now. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. My skin is tan. My hair is fine My hips invite you My mouth like wine Whose little girl am I? Why yours if you have the money to buy? What do they call me? My name is Sweet Thing. My name is Sweet Thing. I am resilient and tenacious. I come from barbecues at Belisle and four to six, six to nine sessions at Skate and Land. I hear cosmic soul. I see a field full of lavender. I want a blanket of peace over my life. I am resilient and tenacious. I survive the effects that a child experiences when a loved one is a victim of mass incarceration in the United States of America. I know everything is working for my good. I feel at ease. I worry about nothing.
I cry for my people who don't get the justice they deserve. I am resilient and tenacious. I stand on the shoulders of Martha Turner, Pauline Willis, Joyce Upshaw, Big Mama, Ethel Waters, Hattie McDaniel, Dorothy Dandridge, Cicely Tyson, Rosalind Cash, Marilyn McCormick, Angela Lewis, Angela Bassett, Jennifer Lewis, Dominique Maruso, Taraji P. Henson, and Regina King. I believe that God is good all the time and that my ancestors always got my back. I dream about the day that I give my speech at some black ass award show. I will carve out time to love on myself every single day. I hope that one day that this country will wake up and realize that it was my people who built this whole shit and give us reparations. I am Black history. Clearly, I am not a fat ass. I am active brain and lip smacking peach deep, sometimes too aggressive in its honesty and heart sweet that loves wholly and completely whom it may choose, whomever it may choose. I am not gonna lie and pacify. I am arms to hold. I am lips to speak. I am a motherfucking G. Strong legs that stroll off the 33 bus or out of a money green phantom comfortably. Knees that bend to pray, clean from Ajax washings. Hair that is thick and soft. Thighs that betwixt an amazing all expense grand prize. I am eyes that sing. Smile that brightens, touch that rings, and supplies euphoric release. I am a grand dom queen beast. I am warm, I am peace. From the roads of Botswana, from 23rd Street, from the inside, third eye. Ever watching this wicked, wicked system of things I do see. I am friend to pen, and a lover of strong women, a diamond to men. I am curious and interested like children. I welcome the wise to teach, appreciator of my culture, thick not just from bone dense and eat. I have a rhythm in my ways and a practice in my seek. And yes, I do crave the rhythm of my space with a man that rejoices in God's grace. With faith, I do hear to listen to hands that fist when force pushes to shove and your ego won't submit. I am gifted. I am all of this, and indeed the shit. Clearly, I am not just an ass. Because we are free women, born of free women who are born of free women, back as far as time begins, we celebrate your freedom. Because we are wise women, born of wise women, who are born of wise women, we celebrate your wisdom. Because we are strong women, born of strong women who are born of strong women, we celebrate your strength. Because we are magical women, born of magical women, who are born of magical women, we celebrate your magic. My sisters, we are gathered here to speak your names. We are here because we are your daughters. As surely as if you had conceived us, nurtured us, carried us in your wombs, and then sent us out into the world to make our mark. And to see what we see and be what we be, but better truer, deeper, because of the shining example of your own incandescent lives. We are here to speak your names because we know that we are walking in footprints made deep by the confident strides of women who parted the air before them like the forces of nature that you are. We are here to speak your names because you taught us that the search is always for the truth and that when people show us who they are, we should believe them. 
We are here to speak your names because of the way you made for us, because of the prayers you prayed for us. We are the ones you conjured up, hoping we would have strength enough. And discipline enough. And talent enough. And nerve enough to step into the light when it turned in our direction and just smile a while. We are the ones you hoped would make you proud because all of our hard work makes all of yours part of something better, truer, deeper. Something that lights the way ahead like a lamp unto our feet. As steady as the unforgettable beat of our collective hearts. We speak your names. 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 Names. Thank <laughs> you.